Oh, I bet you did not expect to see some done greed today. Well, as it turns out, despite the fact that the game is four years old and for the most part is finished, the devs decide to go back in for whatever reason and put an update in and, and add new items and fix some bugs, put some quality of life stuff in and generally just be badass. Oh, what's this I'm holding here? Wow, look at the size of this lad. This is the Witch Sword Livna which is something that I think you obtain, right, the fourth area, the Desert Night Plates, where you fight Lasley. There's a mini boss, and if you beat the mini boss, you unlock this for your save, you know, to find, and I happen to find it. And I've not done a Livna run before. It has plus 10% to poison status speed. Does this thing poison enemies? When attacking enemies, deals additional damage with fragments, 5% crit damage, Good damage, good everything. Oh look, it's Blood of Sorbeo, which has been nerfed from two life restore down to one. I think that was the only real change it suffered, but still has good crit chance on it, still decent cooldown. It's got a mini cooldown to 0.5 seconds inside of it, so it's not as, as you know, degenerate as it used to be back in the day, but this is still, wow, look at, look at this thing. Dude, it's actually fast too. Oh, we're gonna have some fun with this. And naturally, the best way to do this is with Lotus. The classic good old Lotus. Marking enemies, attacking an enemy leaves a mark, which increases power by six, up to 10 stacks. So up to 60 power against someone that's got all of their stacks on them, which with this weapon being relatively fast, pretty easy. She has less max life and no evasion. Well, less evasion. But that's fine, because look how kawaii adorable she is. The new items, by the way, this guy was offering them, because now, we have more uses for our little gemstones, these 159 down there. We can use them to re-roll the shop, we can use them to obtain new things, there's a lot that you can do. There's even a new building option, this little swing here for our little done greedy poker master down here, who offers you a boss rush mode. They've just, I don't know why they've decided to come in and do all this stuff, but it's just insane dude, they've decided to do so much for us. That has nothing for me, please give me something uh, I mean, a spiked ball is something. Wait, spiked ball is the planet thing. If I get the mini planet and I find the other two, ooh, we could get we could get orbiting. You know what? May as well buy it. Now we've got two orbiting things. We can get the solar system upgrade. Hello, sir. Could you give me a weapon? That pistol sucks. It's just the Russian roulette gun. I don't want that. And without further ado, my friends, let's go and get started on another Dungreed run. I did a run on stream last Saturday or Sunday. I can't remember which day. Oh, this is new, by the way. There's a meat fairy now. This little fairy, this little meat fairy, if you want, will lead you in the direction towards... Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. There are little fragments shooting out, dude. Little swords. Oh, this is violent. Oh, this is violent. Oh, I did not expect the violence. Okay, that was crazy. Um, the little little meat fairy will actually try and take you towards the food shop. This is obscene. Okay, this is gross. And and lead you there if you need to go there. It's actually quite handy and useful and dandy and wonderful. And oh! Okay, this is just a little bit on the dumb side. So every time I slash someone, little sword fragment things come out and stab my enemies. That's sick. That's actually like... Dude, that's sick! I love it! Oh! Oh! Through the wall! This is this is mean, dude. This is mean. Okay. I like it. It's 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 everything I wanted from a, a stupid overpowered weapon. Um, I need to find the food shop. Classic me, not going after the food shop. I should use the little meat fairy. What are you gonna ask of me, meat fairy? I'll take you for one colorful gems. <gasps> take me. She's pointing down here. Oh, oh, oh. Now look, now look. She's pointing in another direction. All the pointing, all the directions. Give me a second, meat fairy. See how she's leading me? You see how she's helping me, dude? A throwing torch. We're gonna go this way. Oh, oh. Interesting looking room in here. Wait. Wait, is this a food shop? Wait a minute, what happened here? Oh, thank goodness that you got away, my lady. That would have been very sad if- Ooh, sparkling water. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so we're looking for crit, defense, max life. I see defense. I see actually nothing else that I really want. So I'll take the pea soup and you know what? Do I have the money for it? Let's buy the sparkling water now. And I'll even take the veggie platter. Just, just buy out the shop. Give me all the foodstuffs. All of the foodstuffs. God, dude, I'm so happy. 
I am so I'm sorry if I'm a little overexcited. I'm so happy back in Dongreed. I miss Dongreed, dude. I love this game. One of my favorite just action platformer rogues ever. This game is just it's it's a miracle, dude. A game like this just shouldn't exist, but it does. And no one knows about it anymore. More people that I speak to have no idea what Dungreed is. And they're like, what the hell is Dungreed? I've never heard of that. It's like, really? Dude, you're missing out. Get onto some Dungreed. It's good stuff. And I, I want more of you out there, suspicious looking statue, to uh, experience this greatness along with me. What have I got? 1% chance to do one, uh, 50 extra damage. That's okay, but it's honestly not. Movement speed. Max life and attack speed. I'll take that instead of a 1% chance to do a bit more damage. Things are just blowing up. I don't care about a 1% chance to do 50 because all the enemies are dying before they even need that. No, nothing in the shop. Oh, I will show you right now, though. Because uh, I can do this. We can re-roll the shop by using two of our little gemstones. Uh, don't care about any of that. Let's use four more and re-roll again and try and find some... No. See, this is two-handed. I'd take the shield. It's a pretty cool shield, but no. But there we go. We can now re-roll the shop. We never used to have that option before, surprisingly. Um, we just never, never really cared that we weren't able to... Dude, this is... This is... This is gross. I love this sword, dude. Oh, this sword is so nice. I love it. 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 Uh, we go up here and come downstairs. We're exploring as many rooms as we can so that we can reduce our hunger level down. And also just, you know, in general. What's going on here? What's... Is that a spanking paddle? That never used to look like that. Wait. See, look, 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 look. Regular buzzsaw. What's happening over here? Hold up. Hold up. No, this is still spinning. Interesting. Uh, give me the, the short spear. Good luck. Now, we did get the koi purse. Enemies drop coins when attacked with a melee weapon. Fantastic. I love it. We don't need any of this useless nonsense. I should have put that away to begin with. Movement speed, you know what, do this. Give me the movement speed for, uh, boost instead. And I'll just keep the planets in my bags, just in case. Oh, we're done. Cool. So I'm going to run back over here to the altar, and we're going to tribute the stuff I don't care about, mostly meaning uh, all of this stuff. I can't wait. No, I can. Tribute all that. Can I just delete? I want to delete the stuff that... Oh, wait, throwing torch. Hold up. I need to... No, delete the items that we start with that I don't care about. So they get out of my inventory. Get out of my inventory, sir. Thank you for being altered. And I think we're ready to go. I've, I've cleaned out the, the food shop. Let's go fight Belial. I've missed Mr. Belial. Slay all this. This is despicable damage. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can hit this man from pretty much anywhere on screen because of how wide this blade goes, dude. Look at it. Look at it. And I'm getting money off of him? Dude. Dude. I somehow evaded that, despite the fact that she has poor evasion. Die. <laughs> this thing seems loud. I'm going to have to turn the volume of the game down in post. Because this, this thing slapping this man's skull was... It sounded like someone stomping on cardboard really loudly. It was... It was great. Ooh. The Watcher? Yo, three out of four for Captain Planet set? The problem is, the problem is, unless I'm mistaken, because I can... This is also new, by the way. They never used to show you the actual tooltip of what you were looking at. I used to have to open up my... Uh, oh, I had the, the shield option there, dude. I had to open up, go to my item list, and find whatever it was. Now, what's the Captain Planet set? Increase air of effect, fires a satellite beam at enemies... See, the problem here is I don't I don't want that because I've got Blood of Sorbeo and no, and it's just it's just bad, it's just not good, it's kinda sucky. I'll take the gold instead, to be honest. It's it's not a great effect, it's not a great set. It's it's okay just for completion's sake, but I certainly wouldn't tell you that, you know, you should go out of your way to obtain it. Sorry, Mr. Bison, but I can hit you from all over the place. Same with you, Mr. Minotaur. My goodness, it's... Look, uh, slap, 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 spank him, spank him. Give him a little spanking. This is such a cool weapon! I'm actually really, like, sad that I didn't find this weapon sooner. No, be done. Drop down here, give me the gold, give me the gold, give me the goods, give me the goods, go into here. That's where I came from. I'm an idiot. Um, although, take me in through here. Oh, wait, dead end. Cool, cool. I need to find Meat Lady... I don't want to spend any money at the Meat Fairy. I want to find it the legit way. I want to find it the old school way. 
I'll, I'll take Meat Fairy if I really need to, but I don't think I need to. Oh, -ha! okay. So this is one of the brand new items they added in this update. The Dimension Box basically functions very similar to the talent selection where you can take an item back with you. Normally always my Blood of Sorbeo. But this lets you take a second one. However, all of your tribute to the altars disappears. So you're more or less cashing out your altar now to take something that you already have. So if I want to, I could keep my Blood of Sorbeo and take my Livna with me and just redo the run again. Uh, additional tribute points acquired by making an offering at the altar. I see. What does that mean? Do I need to max out the altar in order for this effect to happen? I'm not even sure. Um, and I imagine I need to have this equipped before I finish a run. So take it with me into the final boss fight. I'm not even sure how this works now. Now that I think about it. I do get 7% crit damage though. So I mean that's kind of worth just sticking on instead of movement speed. I don't care about movement speed. I need to go back to the altar room now and see what happens. I'm not even sure how this how this affects the altar now. Scroll down to the bottom at the food shop, lady. Seven power, defense and evasion, max life. I like both of these, please. Look at that math. Look at that math. It worked out just fine. What do we got in here? Oh, fodder. Sorry, fodder. Sorry, lads. But you're all being slapped down. Little archer dude up here still alive. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Have have some decency about you. Man, I love Dungreed, dude. I'm sorry I keep saying it, but I'm, I'm so glad to be back on. Just an excuse to come back and, and fire the game up and, and run through with uh, my kawaii little Japanese samurai girl. Except now she doesn't have a Huando and a Kony Mex 5R. She has a, a Livna. Oh, lovely. Oh yeah, this room. I love this room too, because they, they show up and they're all like, we're going to ambush you. Unfortunate for you, you can't ambush me because I have I have the dumb gross damage. <laughs> I have the dumb damage. I have the grossness. Ew. Ew even. Channeling my inner James. Ew. Uh get up through here. Look at that. Look at that. Area's clear, dude. Area's clear. I'm a surveyor. I'm making sure that the place is safe. I'm just gonna come in here and blow everything up and make sure that the room is clear. Bison sounds like a Tuscan Raider, dude. Oh, he just charged into me. How dare you, sir? Fairy, thank you. Help me. I thought he was going to die beforehand. I need... I need more damage. That's something that I do need. Why does this thing have poison attribute bonuses, though? It's not poisoning enemies. Like, I didn't misread that, right? It, it is boosting the effectiveness. Let me get a look here. Of poisons, right? 10% poison status speed. I guess it just, you know, it wants to help with poison. Maybe that's the random stat that I've got on it. You know, I was just unlucky in that my Livna came with, with random poison synergy, which, you know, it's kind of odd, but I don't know. Maybe there's a way that we can make that work. Probably not, you know, more often not, but we'll think about it. Die. Oh, these little fragments that shoot out. Mm. Like the sword having this kind of range and this kind of power is already gross, but giving it a secondary component where it just does even more? Dude. Dude, it's it's kind of scary. It's kind of kind of nasty. Also, I didn't mention this. This little camp spot here. You can save and return to the menu whenever you want. So you can pause a run mid-run, something that Dungree didn't have before. They're catching up. They they're adapting to the modern roguelite space where people don't have time to sit down for up to, you know, an hour to do a run or maybe they've got to go. Maybe an emergency has happened. Maybe they've got to disappear and go do family related things and they have to pause their run and they think to themselves, "No." I have a kawaii little Japanese girl and a Livna build going right now. I don't want to lose this run. It's rare. And now you can. You can totally leave whenever you want to. Slap the bat. Little sword hits him. Slap him, slap him, slap him, slap him. Slap a bat. Slap bat. Very nice. Move in through here. Oh. Oh. Try me. Try me, son. I also, you probably noticed in the background already, but let's go to the, uh, the altar. Traps will automatically stop hurting you and disarm themselves whenever you uh, finish clearing a room. So wait, is it basically making it so that there's more that I have to tribute? I don't know. Maybe I have to finish the tribute box before the dimension box works, so I still have to continue putting investment into it, maybe. Now, I've got, what, 50? 51, of course it is. <laughs> I could buy cabbage. Nah, let's, just, let's not worry about any of that. Let's just... It's time to go. We've, we've cleared it. We're, we're done. We're ready to leave. Let's go take on everyone's favorite boss in this game. I'm, I'm assuming it's everyone's favorite boss. She's one of my favorite bosses. 
Hello there, Niffles. Nice. I had someone in a comment way back in the day say, why is the, the second major boss called a Nilf? And I'm like, no, 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 dude, dude, you are incorrect. Oh my God, this sword is ruining this fight, by the way. No. <laughs> oh my God, the sword destroyed that fight. I'm sorry, Niflheim. GG's though, good fight. What do we have here? We have the, the Damon's Boots that leaves a trail of fire and gives plus one to burn damage. But I'm going to take the max life because I don't care about that accessory. I care about a little bit of survivability or good accessories. And that accessory doesn't synergize with my preferred... Ba Ooh, what do we got here? Regular green bat. Now, this guy wants... It's a vampire. You can only walk into this room once. As soon as I leave and try and come back, this guy is dead. But the vampire wants to take some of my maximum life away to give me the reward. And the reward, I'm afraid... It's not good enough for me. I don't want the green bat. Oh my god, dude. Okay, okay. I don't have the money for this though. Um, I see the meatball power. Uh, where's my crit stuff? Crit. I could go for the meatballs. Let me just sparkling water this back down. Just reduce my hunger a little bit. 19 power is a lot of power though. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front with you. It's a lot, but I need to get a bit more defense quickly. And I could afford to do this. It's gonna take off 10 max life. I think it's worthwhile. Because what I'm going to do is take a 12 max life instead. Which means I basically get 11 power. I'm kidding. I can't actually do that. But what I can do is come back and get maybe both of these if I'm lucky. Let me show you the vampire real quick. He's dead. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. It's that, that is a kind soul that really didn't mean any harm. That just wanted to live. And I ensured that you weren't going to live. Because I did not care for that bad. And I didn't want to lose any max life. I already paid enough max life at the shop lady there with the, uh, the foods. All right, succubus, doing what she does best, sucking buses. Uh, it's not a healthy diet, but you know, if that's what she likes, that's what she likes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Also, the lizard men, when you weaken them now, they turn red and they get angry and they, they go into berserk mode and they do awesome stuff. Also, the Tunark boss fight, the boss fight of this area, he got a complete overhaul. Like, 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 like a complete overhaul. He actually has like phases and stuff now. He plays very differently as a boss fight. I mean, mostly, I mean, no, I shouldn't say completely differently. He's similar, but they made changes. They made changes. He's definitely not just a, a forgettable boss fight like he was before. He actually has something going for him now. Before he really didn't uh, come down here and we'll go downstairs. This is the run, by the way. The run is just going to be me running into room, swinging wildly. Half the stuff dies. Hello, sir. I might come back to you. Uh, yeah, I can come back to you later. Um, swing wildly and just hope that everything dies. Where are the enemies? Damn. Insane. Um, uh, I'm probably not going to come back, actually, so I'm sorry. I didn't realize you didn't have a teleporter nearby. It's kind of annoying having to come all the way and... Oh, I didn't get any items. And find you again. No, sir. No, doggy. What, it's all dead? Damn, dude. Oh, poisonous spooters, poisonous snacks, poisonous banshees screaming their screams at me. Look at all this cash. Oh, delightful. Absolutely delightful. I want to hear, I want to hear, are you guys out there enjoying Dungreed? Have you played it? Have you enjoyed it in the past? Are you planning to come back and try it out with the new update? Are you... Are you intimidated by Dungreed? What's your favorite weapon? What are your favorite items? Besides Blood of Sorbeo, the wings and and other such overpowered things. You know, I want to hear some unique answers. If I hear Blood of Sorbeo, I'm just going to go, yeah, dude, same. I love this thing. It's it's really, really good. <laughs> uh, wow. Well done, Mr. Bat. Oh, those little fragments do so much damage. Now, what it says here is that when attacking enemies deals additional damage with fragments. So what it means when it says that, because I didn't know what it meant at first. What it means is the extra damage is that it summons fragments. It deals damage via the fragments. I thought at first it was like, wait, so do I build fragments? Do I have to do like a fragment resource management thing? No, no. It's just going to throw stuff at people. I can stand here and hit you from over here, dude. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. I'm, 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 I'm not a kawaii little girl like that you should mess with. I'm not to be trifled with. 
don't do it. Uh, trifle is nice, by the way. If you get the right kind of trifle. Papa Green Bat. Oh, no. Now I should have taken the vampire, dude. Although, I won't lie. We can do this. I won't lie. The Bat family is not great synergy. I mean, it, it, it works. It's, 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 you know, it's serviceable. If you don't have anything better, it's serviceable to get the set. But mostly, no. Mostly, no. It's not that great. And I'm sorry to say it. I know I've just upset a bunch of people out there who are Bat family supporters and, and, and believers. I'm not. Wow. What I am a supporter of is Siri the Combat Helper. I firmly believe that she is worth my while, and I might get rid of the koi-shaped coin purse at this point. It's nice getting a little bit of extra money here and there, but... But no, I just... I just... I, no, I don't... I don't believe I will worry about it. I don't believe I, I care enough. I think that's it. We are done. Let's go back to the food shop. And I was right in that I can buy two upgrades here that cost at least 50 or so. Now, do I want some evasion power? Or I, should, I need the max life for a start. And I might get the power. Let's just go big damage. I need more crit too. What are my stats looking like right now? 24% defense. Crit chance is at 35. That's not bad. Where's my evasion? It's over here, right? 21%. Evasion, despite the fact that she starts with less evasion, 21% is not small evasion numbers. That's pretty decent. That's It's not broken, but it's decent. Oh, two knock time. So see if you guys can spot the difference. If you're a Dungreed player... If you're someone who's played it before, you might notice that there are some some changes to the way that oh, to the way that he does, does his fight now. Ow! Although I won't lie, we are doing big damage right now. Oh, he's spitting air balls at me, dude. Air balling. He's summoning dudes. He's disappeared from the map to summon dudes. Oh, dude, this weapon is so loud. He's back. He's turned red. He's furious. He's goddamn furious, dude. Oh, and he's, he's spitting his spittles at me. Die. Look at the little sword! Get impaled. Okay, so the fight wasn't that hard, but, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it's new. It's improved. You know, he's better now. I'll take that. And we will take... Ba -ba 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 -ba. If I anvil my sword, I can't take it back, and I kind of want to take it back so far, but at the same time, can you, I wonder, can you use Dimension Box to take back Dimension Box and just keep a forever Dimension Box? I know that doesn't do much, but it's still pretty cool. I might upgrade Siri, our combat helper, with the anvil. Let's do that. Uh, there you go, darling. Now, we actually get a chance now with all the anvils to choose what we would like to have. I can get plus one more dash. I can have it ignore defense. I can get plus 10 power and five critical damage. That's also pretty good. That's actually really good. I don't care about my dash count as much. Give me the power. Bam. Boom. There we go. Is she back on? She is back on. Amazing. Amazing. Moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. There are new summon items in the game. There's a bunch. There's like a whole bunch of new items that, that summon allies to fight with you based on... They scale with your stats, like particular stats. There's one that scales with like power and defense and stuff like that. I want to try and find those and show you if I get the chance. I mean, Deluxe Borger, pretty good, pretty good. Crit chance, max life up here. There's a lot of good stats here, a lot of good things to take. Crit chance is, is my first. Nice, nice hunger, by the way. But I can't do it just yet. We are kind of, we are, we are satisfied currently. We do not need any more. Uh, tribute, tribute, tribute. I don't want any of those anymore. Head back. And meet fairy. I don't need you, my darling. But thank you for being here and existing. I love that they 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 recognize. You know, some players just want to. They just want to get out. You know, they just want to get the meat fairy and and go and find the shop and buy their foods. I can appreciate that. Man, are we doing just a lot more damage now? I didn't think my upgrades did this much, but we are doing a lot more. Wow, we are slapping these people. Uh, of course, Siri, the combat helper, always. Always obey. I've noticed right now that not only are Siri's missiles going through the terrain, but my my little knife daggers, they also do the same thing. So I'm kind of able to cheese a lot of these rooms, to be fair. My little, uh, my little daggery sword dudes are very, very handy dandy. No, kill this dude first. Doggo. Wow, I took a big chunk of damage. Was that just then? Because I jumped through all those balls. It's always the balls. It's always the, the floating balls that do the worst damage to me. Uh, Hawk earrings. That's more crit unless I'm mistaken. 10 crit chance. 
plus 10 to crit chance. So my crit chance is 35. I put this on, bam, guess what? It's 44%. See that? 35.5, 44.1. It's not, like, scaling is a little bit weird, but you know what? Instead of the bat, I will take that extra crit chance. Extra crits means extra healing with Sorbeo, means better synergy overall for everyone involved. It's great, it's wonderful. I love it, you love it. Come up here and start slaying. Hello, little, little demon skeleton. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's a demon skeleton. Can actually stand clean out of range of the Minotaur's swipe and still clean him up. Whoa, that's dangerous, that's dangerous. Hello, sir. Ugh, get smacked. He put me in a, in a, in a tight space and was gonna charge right at me. What do we have here? <gasps> the Odile Scepter. This is a new item. Plus two evasion, a scepter that leads those buried in the ground. Summon a skeleton archer. It is an offhand item. I have to... Bam! Oh, look how cute he is! I can just have him. Oh, and I can summon... Wow, can I summon a lot of them? So I can summon him and then swap my weapons back around to my main weapon. It's good. Oh, oh, oh! I can become a necromancer. We're gonna summon a whole bunch of them. And they come with me! Another... <gasps> Whoa! Daisy Ring! Daisy Ring! I haven't seen Daisy Ring before. There's a there's a, a yellow-named uh, legendary epic one. I've not seen Daisy before. 8,000 gold is a lot. You know what's not a lot? 40 gems. I've got plenty. Give me the Daisy Ring. What's the Daisy Ring gonna do for me? 40% dash recovery speed. 8% uh, attack speed and 3 evasion. Wow! Screw the crit chance for a moment, dude. What? Whoa. Look at that attack speed. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not even... Dude, what is the dash speed recovery? Does it mean, like, I can... I have, like, faster dashes because it's ending... It's, like, fixing itself sooner. Sword of the Vines is fantastic. There's another, another one. I am too curious. I am too curious. I need to see... I am, I am, I've never been more curious in my life. Uh, can you come off for a second, sir? All right, so if I do this and then I swap it. No, it shares a cooldown. I feel like I should have known that from my experience playing the game before, but doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Does, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, moving on. Uh, ignore me. Ignore me. That's really cool, though. Like, summon one. Start slapping. Slap the sucky bus. Dude, I have so many minions fighting with me and for me now. It's incredible. Actually wild. Our meat is going down. I'm getting closer and closer to... Ah, found the boss room. They're going back and getting our, our grub on. Uh, I have to just remember to keep swapping out to it and summoning a new dude. Whenever I get the chance. Like this. Just keep summoning them. And I'll have an army of archers. They're, they're doing great work as it is. Dude, this is OP. Wait, swap back, swap back. I was just smacking dudes with my raw fist for a second there. Look at them all jumping around, shooting crazy. They're trying their best. Leave them alone. There's there's a wall in the way. They can't tell. They don't know what to do. What they're doing. They just they just trying the best, dude. Give give give, give a minute. Give give them a break. Give them a break. Okay, they're actually they're actually kind of nasty, dude. All the new items that they've introduced in this update are insane. What? Oh, I picked up a sword. I was going to say, why do I have this thing here? It's because I picked up a new little swordy warty. Uh, apparently I meant to go, aha, down. It doesn't seem like it's a down, but it's a down. Summon some dudes. Kill some puppies. Don't worry, it's an evil puppy, all right? Evil, evil. Ah, this room. I need to get up here and stay did the chest not the chest didn't spawn up here interesting normally there's a chest that spawns oh interesting all right fine don't spawn there dude this minotaur has no chance he's just getting slapped despite the fact that he's like he is really putting in his, his best effort and he can't do anything about it now we're down to one hunger food left, one hunger. Let's come in here and buy the goodies now that we can. Defense, crit chance. I need that crit chance to be honest with you. It's going to cost a lot for us. Ah. Uh, 
What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Max life percentage plus power. I mean, percent life is better. This has got life defense. And yeah. Give me the max life, please. Just barely squeeze that in. But I'm, I'm okay with it. Come over here to the, the altar. And we're just going to drop everything in here. I'm even going to take that off and drop that in there. Bam. I think the altar is filling up at the exact same speed it normally does. So in honesty, I'm not sure what the dimension box is even really doing. However, in hindsight, I do know that what I should have done is actually just keep it in my inventory and not use it until the end. And I could have gotten away with most of the run using a better accessory. Uh, that's my bad. That's my bad. But, oh, oh, going into this already, are we? This move is funny. This move is really fun. I should have done the bottom one. The bottom one's not as difficult to avoid. Are you done now? Can we continue our battle? Can we continue our epic struggle? Envy Rock. I can slap him while he's going through the sky, dude. Hang on, summon, summon an archer. Summon an archer. Get my little skelly archer in here. Yeah, shoot him. Shoot him in his big dumb face, little skelly archer. Ooh. Well done. That's so cool. I wonder how long they last. Pick up the gold that fell in the in the lava. Because we can do that. <gasps> Another doll. It's the one that reloads, though. I don't need that one. Cowhide armor is pretty good. Movement attack speed. But coffee is way better. Coffee is way, way better for me. Yes, ma'am. Please. Now she's... Oh, she's offering me lemonade. But she's also offering me crepe with crit chance. Mmm... I gotta take that crit chance. I gotta take that. I gotta take it. I, I I need it. I need it. Forty six percent. We gotta get that higher, dude. It's gotta go higher and higher and higher. Um. Yeah. I am curious. I wonder how long these little skeleton dudes actually last for, and how many I can overlap. Like you can just keep summoning these guys. I love it. I can actually have little skull in the game with a bow and arrow. I've got three now. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just seeing. I mean, they're overlapping themselves. Is that is that actually four? I have no idea. It's pretty cool, though. Uh, also, wait. Should I go and do the extra fight? I probably should, right? I bet you guys want to see the extra bonus fight, and then we'll go and fight the... Ah! The Super Sonic. I just fell in the lava for no reason. We'll go fight Sonic afterwards, huh? Uh, let's just keep summoning until I walk in. Hang on. Can we get one more? One more summon. One more. All right. Now let's go and fight this thing. I hate this fight, by the way. Urta Ale. I hate it. It's such an annoying boss fight. But you know what? If we have to do it, we have to do it. I'm trying to bait it into going down near the other spot. They're just gonna come slamming down, brother. All right, this hand should die. Now, just because the hand has lost all of its life does not mean that it's given up the fight. That's the way that the hands work. Bottom hands. Trying to avoid the beams that this guy shoots. You know what I should do is summon another little skeleton archer dude. I should just try and make it part of my 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 rotation. It's just to swap out every like I don't even know what the cooldown on that is. It's like five, seven seconds, something like that. And just keep summoning archers. Since they're they're actually doing a lot of work, to be honest. I mean you probably don't expect them to, but they're they're doing work. They're doing work. I think we've got this. I think we've I mean I don't want to be that guy that gets a little overconfident because my overconfidence always leads to my demise, but I think we're doing pretty good. I've got all my lotus stacks on the on the hands. Swap out, summon little skeleton archers. Ow, 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 ow. Even in this game, I am still all about that 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 skeleton man's. Alright, can you both nice! Both hands almost at the same time. There we go! Handled! dealt with. I love these little dudes. You guys are adorable. I can do like a full summoner build kind of thing now where I just have like all the bats or all the new summoned NPCs plus have the, the skeleton summons. It's pretty cool. Ah, the Rumble and Arthur or more coffee. Oh, we should stop meeting like this, ma'am. Oh, me and my giant blade. So happy to see you as always. More strawberry crepes. Like I said, dude, we need more of this crit. It's just, it's just free real estate at this point, man. It's amazing. Uh, now, I have got the cash that we need to come in here. It wants us to pay 4,000 bucks to go and get the burning hammer. 
burn duration plus 30 percent doesn't matter we don't care about that effect we're not doing a fire run however we do need this in order to get to the secret actual factual final boss fight which you know i don't always go and do the final final boss fight but it's 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 rough wow the shops are being very nice either they've really buffed the shops or it's just being nice crit chance and crit damage I can barely afford to do this, but now I'm broke, so I need to actually get some more cash before I can buy anything else. But what would I like to get once I do have that cash? Maybe the evasion one. Nah, the bread. It's definitely the bread. Bread is there. Bread. Bread is, is delightful. Bread is the best. Now, this sword is actually very advantageous in this area because something that you can do with melee weapons is slash the missile-bound projectiles that come at you, right? This weapon's hitbox and range is so just just ludicrous that yes, it's very good at dealing with them. No, little lady. No, little lady. Be done with you. Be done with you. Oh, just slap you through the wall, dude. Through the. This is amazing. The only thing about this weapon that's not the best is the volume at which it sounds when it's slapping. It's so loud. It is the loudest weapon in the game. Maybe there's a louder one, but if there is, I haven't met it yet. Why come down here? Is this meant to be like an ambush? It's a very poor ambush if it's meant to be one. Anyway, I'm I'm trying to make some money as well as reduce my hunger. We are getting some decent cash. Who would have thought that I'd actually be running out of cash because we keep finding all these really good uh, food shops where I can get good options, good stocks, you know? That's normally pretty rare. Die. Very nice, very nice. This area has the chillest music, I love it. It's that chill, nice, calm and collected vibe. Wow, it's like a femme fatale room. Banshees, suck you by. Little shy ghosts, ooh. Cuteness overload. Dragons! Ow, that guy just exploded and shot all of his little dumb attacks at me. The orange hairband, that's the one that has to do with dash synergy, right? Yes, with the dash, attach the string. Yes, yes, the dashing string. I remember you. Ow, 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 ow. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa! A lot of balls getting shot at me, son. Nah, these ghost dudes, you can't, you can't get to me. I am too large and in too much charge. Uh, trip, I shouldn't be tributing. I should be selling, to be honest, but you know what? I need to fill my tribute meter thingy up because I'm not even sure if the dimension box works if I haven't filled the tributes I volunteer as tribute I'm gonna be that weird guy maybe weird maybe not I don't know how you guys feel but I'm gonna be that guy to say Hunger Games overrated <gasps> I've just bothered everyone in the audience everyone just got incredibly upset and bothered with me but yeah yeah it, it's just battle royale dude I mean it's it's the idea isn't fresh but at the very least, I expect the, the story to kind of be fresh, but the whole, you know, government bad, free the people, rebellion thing, it just doesn't click with me, dude. I don't, I don't care. I've seen that story, heard that story, listened to that story, read that story, and played that story too many times to count, and, and, and I just, I just don't care for the story. Plus, I'm also going to be that guy to say that none of the lead characters, besides the crazy girl, the short-haired crazy girl, I forget her name. Um, she was in, uh, Sucker Punch. She was one of the girls in Sucker Punch. But, uh, um, besides her, I, I didn't care about anyone else. Peter didn't give a damn. Katniss didn't give a damn. Actively didn't like Katniss. She was really annoying, actually. Apparently she was worse in the books. Jed's read the full, like, all the novels and stuff as well. Jed and Lil both have, and it's like, yeah, they, they actually find the novels way worse to get through. And I'm like, thank you for confirming for me that this character is just as irritating in written format as she is in, uh, in the movies but yeah that's my that's my hot take of the video just bothering you all red bandana plus 20 max life 15 percent movement speed four percent attack speed damn damn and the spear of frenzy is really far marked out i don't think well actually the red bandana would be good for me in place of dimension box in that case stay there i'm not even dude I should be opening up my Discord and sending a message to my Discord dudes and say, hey, how does the Dimension Box work? Because I think some of them have actually seen it and used it so far. Not I, though. 
Not I. I have not seen nor used it until now. But we're gonna learn the hard way, right? We're just we're just gonna learn the hard way. We may mess this up completely, but that's that's part of the game, dude. That's part of figuring it out, part of life. Need to go back down to the food shop because our hunger meter is getting very low and I don't want to go into negatives. I can't go to negatives. I don't know why I said that. I don't want to get so low that I'm wasting rooms. Um, bread. Not enough gold. By four. By a margin of four gold, we do not have enough. Where is the shop? I shouldn't have bought that bandana. Where is the shop? Here. Um, sell these for me for a second. Come back down to the food store. Give me my bread. Please and thank you. I'm racing across this map, dude. Multitasking, micromanagement. Get it done. Die. Delightful. Yo, slap that fire bat. It was all like, I'm gonna spit, and we're like, try it. Try it. I will beat you. I'll beat you to death. That was the last room anyway. No, it's not second last room. Ignore me. We found the right last room down here. Oh, this is the dog ambush. Look, look, there's slimes. But wait for it. Wait, where are the dogs? They used to be dogs instead of just slimes. They used to be like like a pack of four or five like big dogs and little robo dogs that would spawn and come after you. Maybe they don't anymore. I don't know. Um, regardless, I'm still going to come in here and drop these in. I was about to put in the tribute and I'm like, whoa, don't do that. Hold up. I've got this sword I can put in there. Are we done? We're done. I can save my money now and actually sell stuff at the store and worry about that. And it's already time for the slime boss. Now this fight, I tell you, this fight was like the big wall. If you remember doing the slime maker fight, this was the wall. Doing it on hard mode, even worse, dude. Hard mode slime maker is 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 crazy unless you've got a deliberately busted build. Good luck. I actually went back into the Nope, nope, I can slap all those away. Having a melee weapon is really handy if he has the the missile move set where he shoots out missiles against you, because he doesn't always do that, in my experience. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, it's such a good track. This game's music is ridiculous. We did well. We did well. Ba -ba 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 Die. Give me all your monies, all your cash. Fantastic. I'm wealthy. Oh! 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 You can't make it up if you try. Oh! We have to, right? We, we actually have to. We actually have to. Wait a minute. This means I could Dimension Box Tanner, take back Sorbeo, and just always have two of the best um, accessory pieces in the game. In the whole game. Um, I'm starting to think the Daisy Ring is the weak link here. This has max life, movement speed, and attack speed. Like 15% movement, 4% attack speed. Daisy Ring has dash recovery speed. So my dash comes back faster, but I don't think I really need that right now. What I need is my army of doll-like waifus to, to come out here and to help me uh, destroy the, the sandy dunes of the next area, uh, the 11th floor, the Lunar Desert. Got nothing on Gobi, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, 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 slaps. My shield is strong. My shield is firm. My resolve is resolute. My hunger meter is empty. What? Uh, lady, direct me to the... No, oh, okay, that was a waste. Ignore me. We have found the room. Crit chance, defense, and some evasion and power. Ooh, evasion power. That's a nice one. I can't take it yet, though. I'll take that when I can, though. Uh, uh. I haven't summoned an archer dude in a minute. I forgot about my little skelly summons. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little skelly summons. Just got to remember to try and keep swapping back and forth. This is where the enemies are that do it themselves, though. This is where the actual summoner enemies are. Oh, this is the wave room. Right. God, it's nice, dude. Look at it. You going to summon the rest? Summon more archers. I've got my own, my own little army of archer bros. Oh, now summon. They're breaking my shield. They're hurting me. They're injuring me. I'm trying to multitask summoning little dudes at the same time, and I'm not very good. Ow! Damn! I'm being sucked! Let go! Damn. 
Damn, succubus? Getting in my face like that? God. Yo, the steam shield. I love the shields in this game. The shields add so much. Like, the steam shield on its own. One toughness, five block. In addition to defense and min damage boost. Why is it blue and yet it's just so nice? I don't know why. It's, it's, just, it's so good. No, no, no. I don't want any of this to be alive. None of this. The sniper dude, dead. Kill them. Get rid of all of them. I don't want any of them alive. I don't want any of them looking at me. I don't want any of them talking to me. Come back down here to the food shop lady. We're going to buy some food before I forget all about it. Give me that evasion. If I get lucky, I can buy the veggie platter. Maybe I can, to be honest. I'm, I'm not that far away. And we'll get rid of all the food in the land. Summon my little archer friend. Drop down into here. Is that a sniper I see? Sniper be snipping. Traps everywhere. Bad damaging attacks everywhere. Just, just real hot, nasty things. Oh, oh. I remember this room. I remember this room well. There are also summoner looking dudes over here. I'm gonna summon my own little archers. There you go. This, this... <laughs> it actually is quite a ridiculous run. If I don't get more defense though, I might be in trouble when we fight supersonic, right? I might be in trouble. This is not... It's a strong run. I don't know how strong in comparison to supersonic though, because I've had stronger runs in the past. Definitely runs that had more defense. Uh, summon a little archer dude. Slap away you. I'm underestimating the power of the the extra die. Of the extra um, swords that come out with my weapon though. I'm thinking about the damage that the weapon is doing when it slaps. And I'm not thinking about the damage that the little shards do when they come out. Because they're doing a lot as well. Like, like for real, they're doing a lot. Can I reach? I can reach. Insane. Uh, there's the indulgence of the devil that summons a little baby Beals, but I'm not going to use that right now because the little baby Beals in this game is not that strong. Unfortunately for me and you and everyone else involved. Tonfers, I'm okay with that. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Buzzsaw swords coming at me. With great rapid speed. Nice. Is that a fairy? Is that a fairy? Hello, little fairy. Thank you. My little archer dude. I'm going to summon a new one. There we go. I'm just going to keep summoning them. If I if I just summon one in between each room, maybe that's smart enough for me, you know? Just, oh, there's another one. There's another one. Yeah. 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 Just having this as an offhand weapon just to pull out and do a quick summon, it's pretty, pretty neat. It's pretty neat, you know? It's the kind of thing that, that you might tell your parents about over dinner on a Sunday, you know? I discovered this neat thing recently. I, I can... I can have a book item this this like little summoning compendium staff thingy in my offhand and i can summon little skeleton dude and 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 if i do that i can i can really push the boundaries of new attack deal shock damage nice i can push the boundaries of how much damage i can put out by by multitasking these wow and then your parents turn around and they say you're adopted and you're like but what 50 percent power that's an accessory dude the hell sword this is new and apparently counts as wings. I lose critical damage though. Does that neuter my crit rate though? Like my crit rate is the same. I just don't do big crit damage. But I gain raw power. I gotta buy it, dude. I got I gotta test it out. I gotta see. I gotta see. So in terms of my stats, my crit damage is 116%, but my crit rate is at 61. Alright. If I were to put this on and ditch. I don't know. Let's take off the bandana for a second. Wait, what's my raw power at first? Where's my power? Power, 208%. 208, right. If I then stick this on... Uh, this is an accessory, right? Yes. Stick it on there. Whoa. 300... Whoa. Whoa. That is a huge leap. That is a huge leap in power. I need to see how this works. Whoa! Visually appealing. All right, all right, I see you. 34 crits, like 40, 34, yep. Damage is high, damage is high. Damage is high. Now I need to swap back because I don't remember what I was doing before. See what this is doing. 24, I'm doing higher crits regardless. Wait, 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 is there a point? Hang on, I'm not sure if there's even a point. Maybe just having this thing on is good enough on its own. I'm not even sure what it's what it's really doing besides my power getting... I mean, it's a big power boost. Don't get me wrong. It's massive. Um, I don't know, dude. I don't know. 
I mean, it just means that my non-crit damage goes up, right? Isn't that the idea? My crit damage goes down, my non-crit damage goes up, so everything kind of equals out in the middle. I guess that's the intent, right? Is to make it so that if you're not doing a crit build, this thing is really good for non-crit builds as well. Uh, I'll just take whatever, dude. None of this matters to me. It's probably going to get sold. And then even then, I don't need the money. Uh, come down here. Now, this is... Yeah, this is the boss room. I, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I wasn't even looking at the screen. Come up here. And we need to go down to the right. Bomb, bomb, dude. Ain't it great to be crazy? Bomb, bomb. Whoa, whoa. There we go. Lovely. Uh, this statue, dude. Nightmares of that, that mini boss fight. That special boss. Uh, we're done. I'm going to go back to the shop. Our altar is full. Therefore, all of this is borderline useless. I'm going to sell, 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 and sell. Uh, Daisy ring isn't... <laughs> I will give you hope, says the Daisy ring. I'm so sorry, Daisy ring, but I don't... I mean, the attack speed is nice, but I don't require you right now. The bandana, mmm. The max life is nice, but I, I don't even know if I need... Do I need this? I mean, this is okay. The it's the attack and movement speed. Uh, I'm going to stick with the hell sword. You know, I'm going to stick with the hell sword. Let's just sell this off. I don't really care. Let's do it. And then we go back to the food lady and buy the last food item here, which is the veggie platter. Not really anything important for us. And let's move on and go do Lasley. Good old Laz. Good old Laz. I'm hoping that Laz decides not to be a complete... I'm hoping Lasley decides to not be a buffoon. Don't ruin my day, Laz. That's pretty big damage, dude. Fire wave. I, I, di I didn't dodge the fire wave the way that I wanted to. I wanted to completely dodge the fire wave. But of course, no. There we go. Now, if I come over here, can I reach both? No. That would have been gross, though, if I could have reached both of them. All right, last one. Die. Now, I know how Lasley functions, right? He's going to summon fire, and then he's going to do the flame wave. Too bad I was upstairs, and I still got hit by the flame wave. He's going to summon fire, and then he's going to flame wave. I didn't even realize, dude, all this time, I had no idea that Lasley was doing a rotation and that he's predictable. I had no idea. I thought Lasley was random as. Not even. Not even. Actual predictions. Am I cleaving both? Kind of. All right. He's gonna do flame and flame wave. Flame wave. And then he does this. Now he's gonna summon fire again. And then he's going to teleport and do flame wave. I'm going to go up and through the fire like a big dum-dum, but there's not much else I can do. There's just damage all over the screen. Nice flame wave, dumbass. Die. We win! The Lazzles is dead. I have no idea if these hell swords are really worth it. I'm not noticing a giant leap in damage. Like, my crit damage has, has basically gone down, but my regular damage has gone up. That's that's what I'm understanding. Like, quite literally, it's it's 50 for 50. But I, I thought maybe it would make... Dude, three of these in one run. Why? She 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 loves me, dude. She needs me. She's all like, please take me with you. I'm, a, I'm alone without my sisters, please. And I'm like, no, I'm not taking you with me. I'm not using a gun. Although I do wish I was using a gun build now for the extra reload power that she gives you. Um, now, let's move our way up towards Carmenella. We love the Carmenella fight, right? Yeah, Carmenella fight is... Uh, is not not a nuisance whatsoever. I'm actually surprised that given that these things are considered wings, they're not doing more wingy things for me, you know? Now, we're not going to end the ride. I'm st I have no idea how this works, dude. Do I have to equip it before a fight? I might equip it before Sonic and take off the Tana Protector because Tana Protector is not going to last that long against the Sonic fight. I don't know how it works. Is she going to start kicking or is she going to do something else? No, nah, she's doing this. That's fine. Ow. Get slapped, ma'am. She's trying to kick me. She's trying to kick me. What a mean bay. What a mean bay you are, Carmenella. I can still reach you. I can still reach you. My sword is huge. 
Second form. Wings, crown, and more BS. More kicking. If she kicks you, dude, you start to burn, and that burn damage adds up. Am I in range of that? No. Good. Wait. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. What? 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 Ow, 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 ow. Need more defense? Okay, Sonic is not going to go well if this is how we're doing Carmanella fight, dude. Sonic is going to be rough if this is how Carmanella goes. Doesn't matter. We'll try it anyway. If we die to Sonic, we die. We beat the main base game. That's that's the important part. The base game is beaten. Give me my gemstones. We'll go and fight Sonic and, and just deal with it, alright? We'll just deal with it. Give me my gems. Thank you. Uh, we have the hammer. Destroy the wall. Move through it. Grab life up. And before I forget, I mean... You know what I've realized is that Tanner is helping. And the Hell Sword is, is actually superfluous right now. That's the problem. Because my crit damage being halved, my power going up, it's just not doing anything for me. So I'm going to stick this on. Which, ironically enough, gives me a little bit more crit damage. And just see if I need it on. Because if I do need it on, I'm in trouble by not wearing it. And this is... It doesn't... It really doesn't matter. It... it no, nah, it's not doing... It's not doing enough for me. If I was doing a non-crit build, if you're doing like an all-defense build, it's just going to give you some extra power. If you're doing an all-something else or an all-power build without crit, you know, it, it's got its niche use, but I don't need that niche use right now. Instead, I need to be able to use my dimension box because I'm not sure. I mean, I, I've, I've done the Livna fight. The Livna sword is good. I'm going to take probably Tanner back and my Sorbeo since they're the best things. Hello, Sonic! Erica, Ericha, Thorn Monster. I like the idea that it's called Erica. I like that it's just this little sweetheart called Eri. You know, little little Erica. I'm a little bit slow on this. Oh, that's the that's that one, right? Gotta be fast with the dodges to not get stomped on. Oh, that is a wave. God, that's such a fast little attack. That's such a fast attack, Airy. Yo, our Tanner shield is still up. I did pretty decent in that first phase. We're doing a lot of damage. We're doing a lot of damage. I just, I fear for our survivability. Phase two is the worst phase, dude. Phase three is scary, but phase two? Don't even get me started on phase two, dude. Phase two is, a, is, is an actual issue. Yep. Oh, God. Got some evasion. Ow, 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 ow. Harry, please! Harry, please! Harry, please! Why are you spamming this one attack? Oh, damn! Harry, please, just spin instead. I, I actually want you to spin instead. I can I can avoid the spin attack easier. Just spamming projectiles everywhere. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Tanner shield is gone. Life is about, you know, third down, roughly. Uh where are you? Oh, you did the you did the disappearing. I'm gonna dick with you attack. Cool. I can't even see, man. I can't even. I can't even. Okay, I lied. I said that this phase was was gonna be easier. This phase is definitely not easier. This phase is way harder. I was just trying to set up, you know, a really cool, cool thing. You know, I was gonna be like, haha, you thought this phase would be harder, but it's actually easier. I was wrong. All right, I was wrong. I was clearly wrong. It's way more difficult. Okay, the platforms keep dropping and I keep falling into spikes. All right. I get that you're all about thorns, but I didn't realize you were all about also being a complete ass. Ow. We are in danger, dude. Danger. Danger. We did it. I've got 22 life left in a dream. I was convinced we were dead. Ah. And it blows up. Well, it gets contained in the cube. It's back in its little cube, its little cubey hole. Give me my gemstones. Bring. I wonder if I could have done this now. Dude, I could do this now. I could have had that for the fight. It didn't really do much anyway. I should have kept the bandana. Um, Is this how that works? I didn't think I would get to see you here. I don't know how much I suffered because of that guy. Yes, yes, yes. This is the Dungreed. Adventure success. Dun 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 I don't know how it works. Sorbeo and Hannah. Alright, I got to take two. Is that because it was on me or because it was in my inventory? Doesn't matter! We take the two best defensive things that I love in this game back home with us. The Livna Sword Run is complete!
Let's go talk to the thing. Oh, I keep my little bay with me. Uh, yes, I've already seen the ending. We've seen the ending before. We can skip that and come back into my slot. And I don't get to get a new weapon. So the interesting thing here is my thing is empty. And what I didn't do was take a weapon with me on purpose. So now I've got good uh, accessories to start with. But as far as what weapon I start with, it's all up to fate. Oh, that's pretty cool. And, and, and what I decide to get. So future runs for me will be a little bit of a rougher start. But that's a good thing because I get to find a new weapon now. In any case, I am incredibly happy to have been able to come back and do some more Dun Greed. I hope you guys have enjoyed a return to one of my favorite rogues of all time. It's 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 that good. I swear to you. It's so fun. The music, the art, the, the items, the builds. It's so good and unique. I It is so unique. Go play it. Go get it. Go enjoy it. New update is out. Go have a great time. But with all of that said and done, guys, I got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed some more Dun Greed. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one.